Hi YouTube, back to Basics Gal here. I'm uh, rendering some suet today. I've already run it through the food processor to get into little pieces. Makes it much easier to render down. I also uh, use a double boiler or bain marie to, uh, to render the suet down. I uh, think that it assures me that I'm not going to burn it. <laughs> I've uh, done that before, and it's not pleasant. Anyway, um, so I'm going to keep uh, stirring this until it's uh, rendered out. Here's the end product. I've already strained it through a colander, and because you're always going to have little uh, pieces left. I've already done that. And I like to strain the final product through cheesecloth. I don't have any cheesecloth. I'm out, so I'm going to use a coffee filter as a substitute. Anyway, I'm going to drain it into a pint mason jar. I've already marked the uh, the lid with the date and the name of the suet, which is beef suet. And I'm going to store it in the refrigerator. I've got some upcoming videos that I'm going to need some suet for. Anyway, just thought I'd share with you how I render suet. Uh, this is Back to Basics Gal. Thanks so much for stopping by.